more not be smarting they happen for a do state too since uh, philip shaibu declared for governorship uh, position that he wants to contest obaseki has been in the eye of the storm oh. yes so philip shaibu say we say obaseki say uh, you know uh it's obaseki no one tell nigerians everything where they happen say so there's a lot of things going on and these are things that you know must be carefully considered so that nigerians can understand you know who obaseki is and one of the things now coming up is that it says you know the federal government uh, and the nigerians should tell obaseki to release federal government palliative okay crcc tells obaseki that it should release the federal government palliative to the people of edo state saying it is important that he release them you know he cannot uh, leave office by keeping all of this to himself you know and whatever he wants to gain from it he should keep it away he should not uh, continue in that way please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like or share subscribe obaseki we are begging and we are asking Please release the federal government palliative to the people of Edo states. You cannot leave the office and share it as sovereigners to your supporters and friends. CROs PP tells Obaseki, chairman of the Coalition of Registered Political Parties, CROPP in Edo states, Samson Isiogbo has asked Governor Gordon Obaseki to make available to the, to, to the citizens federal government palliatives of food noting that people in the state are going through severe hunger he made a call last week while giving a word of recognition and honor to some distinguished personalities who has contributed immensely to the society social economic growth of edo state and has impacted lives of people one way or another to many citizens particularly during the down times and less privileged in our society both spiritual and physical the cro pp charged the national broadcasting commission to wake up to their responsibility by beaming their searchlight on some earning privileged broadcasting station that turned themselves to opposition political parties in the country the broadcasting houses has turned themselves to opposition to the central government. That's why the federal government look elsewhere, making us to suffer bad roads because of some few hates, hates people, hateful people who have nothing particular to offer the state. The federal government must arise and do not allow this set of people to continue at all. Obaseki has the palliative of the people only god only himself and god knows where he has stored and saved these things the national broadcasting commission should come out and make obaseki produce these things to the people no state can operate successfully without cooperating with the central government so no government is above the law one on the core war between obaseki and his deputy philip shaibu the CROPP said we, are, we are appeal to the outgoing governor of the state to leave the deputy governor, come and finish Aibu alone. He should be allowed to exercise his civil right to vote and be voted for. Don't constrain him and start your godfatherism you did not want upon you. There is nowhere in our constitution that empowers any governor to stop an interested person from contesting any position, whether for governorship, presidential election. Shaibu is a, is a citizen of this country, has the right to vote and be voted for, and should, they should provide a plain level playing field for every aspirant. Among the awardees, yeah, numerous sons and daughters in Edo State. He says it is time for Governor Gordon Obaseki to ensure that he delivers the right things to the people and stop going about pretending that he cares so much of the, for the people and have not given opportunity for Nigerians to see this change. The deputy governor has a right to contest and Governor Gordon Obaseki owes the people of Edo State he should release their 
it should release all that belongs to them immediately. So my wonderful people, this is what is happening. Every single individual is asking Governor Gordon Obaseki to arise and ensure that, you know, he does what is right for the Edo State people. The matters have continued to go on that the Edo State people, they need their freedom from, you know, from Philip Shaibo, uh, from a Governor Gordon Obaseki, and that Obaseki has no right okay to tell Felix Shaibu not to contest so like i told you a lot of issues have started already a lot of people are already wondering if you know the change will come immediately whatever it is nigerians it is high time we begin to you know reevaluate our stance who are we who are we rooting for you know we must know the people let's not just go ahead and accept every tom dick and harry nigerians we all we we are above that stage now where they can just come bamboozle us and go i know one of the tools that they use very cleverly in this nation is the issue of poverty so they impoverish the people like tenubu said you know you slow down the economy widen the tax nets may impoverish the people so that you can get from them it's, it's a tactic, it's a plot, it's a plan, it's what they do, you know, it's what they do. They do it conveniently and they don't care. You know, the, the, the interest of the people is not what is in their heart. No, 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 far from it. They are not interested in the people one bit. They are not. If you think the interest of the people is what is really driving them, I beg to defer. This is not their, this is not their concern. This is not what, you know, gives them the opportunity to thrive. So all they want to see is themselves leading keep leading and you know giving direction in terms of what is going on in nigeria so most of these people don't really care okay if you say they care you are wasting your time most of them are basically and truly you know just looking out for you know how they can get more and more it's about the me mentality that syndrome that rolls on people is wanting me 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 you know and they don't care what happened to the ordinary you know ordinary man and woman on you know on the streets people are suffering a lot of things are going on and our lawmakers those who are collecting you know good money somebody's collecting 37 37 million every month he's telling people that collecting eighteen thousand naira to manage he's telling them to manage that they should tighten their belt and you tell me that this country there is a headway excuse me excuse me we cannot continue like this all these lies and all these things must come to an end. We cannot continue like this. If we, if we leave things like this, eventually the country will collapse, I can tell you. It will collapse because the people will push back at some point. The people will push back at some point. You see, they think they can just get away with it, but it does not happen. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Bye for now.